Hi, this is Ellie with the week three blog post. And um, the question we're asked this week is reflect on how annotated by bibliography went as a group and who you want to interview for your primary research. Um, for me personally, I think our annotated bibliography went pretty well for something that we were only really introduced to in class. We had to select 10 articles on the icebergs melting and wrote summaries and evaluations of each article that will definitely be helpful for when we come to complete our first and first draft and final draft of the research paper. These summaries will allow us to efficiently find relevant articles to the points we are making so we include the best supporting data, evidence and research. Even though I think the, um, the annotated bibliography process went well, I do think that we could have done better in terms of sort of adding to it with more specific and relevant articles to our topic on wildlife. I think the articles we found were a lot more sort of general than, than specific. And, and although this will still be helpful to our research because it gives us the basic information of what we are studying, I think we should look to maybe find more articles on a specific topic of how these icebergs melting are affecting the wildlife in the area. Also, Many of the articles included lots of quantitative data, which was quite complex and hard to understand and read, unless you have some sort of expertise in analysing this data, although it's easy enough to sort of research how to do that. Um, it may save time if we just sort of stick to the less complex articles, which are more easily understood and interpreted by, you know, someone without data analysis expertise. Moreover, I think for me personally, even though it's not specifically a research article, I found that maybe if I add the WWF page on how the icebergs melding affects the wildlife, like I added this website, which provides specific knowledge on how this crisis is affecting the surrounding animals. However, overall, I do think we did a great job in creating the bibliography, and I have no doubt that what we found will be helpful to our research progress. For the second part of the question, the person who we want to interview for our primary research is someone from an environmental protectionist agency or maybe even from the WWF. I think these two organisations specialise in the environment and wildlife. And since our topic is on the melting icebergs like and wildlife and their effect on wildlife in particular, their knowledge will be invaluable to our research. And also the knowledge, the knowledge will be qualitative to sort of contrast with the quantitative data we've already found in the research articles. I think when formulating our research question, I try to make them as open minded and sorry, our the, um, when formulating our interview questions, I try to make them as open ended and as simple as possible in order to encourage like a sort of in depth, detailed answer about each question. For example, I asked the question, what would you consider to be the biggest contributor of the melting of the ice caps? But I also asked why they think this is the biggest contributor. So this will encourage them to promote an explanation for the answer. I would argue that these two organizations, you know, the EPA and WWF have the best knowledge on the topic and we will be able to give us informed, educated answers to all our questions, which can definitely add sort of depth and more knowledge to our research paper. Thank you.